Hi, let's talk about Trivi. Trivi is an open source security scanner. In this video, we will show you how to scan your Docker images using Trivi. Without further ado, let's kick start. I will show you one Docker image which we build in our previous video. Sample app 2, let's scan this image to find the vulnerabilities. In order to scan the image, we have to install Trivi Scanner first. Click on this link. Here you can see a few types of installation methods for different OS. Since I'm using Cent OS, I'm choosing the first method. Let's create a repository. Just copy this contents to that file. Just save and exit. Let's update. Let's install the Trivi. Installation completed. Let's scan our image using this command. Scanning completed. You can see lots of vulnerabilities, but it is not able to read, so let's write this output to a file. Okay, we have written this output to the sampleap2.txt file. Let's open the output file. As you see this image has lots of vulnerabilities. Let's open this in a notepad. This much of vulnerabilities has contained in this Docker image. We can see, OpenJDK has some vulnerabilities. Don't worry, I will show you how to fix this vulnerabilities. This is the Docker file of sample app 2 image. As you see we are using the official image of OpenJDK 8 Alpine image. Let's check the image in Docker Hub. Just copy and search in Google. This is the problem, you can see this official image is 4 years old, I think this image is no longer maintained by them. So I'm going to create our own OpenJDK8 Docker image, using an Alpine updated base image, instead of using official. 
Let's search for Alpine latest base image in Docker Hub. Install OpenJDK 8 on the Alpine base image. First three lines means, line 1 is using Alpine latest base image, line 2 is updating the base image and line 3 is installing OpenJDK 8. Let's try to build new image from this Docker file. This time I'm building Docker image as sample app 4. New image is created. Let's scan the new image using Trivi scanner. Done, you can see we are fixed most of the vulnerabilities, by just using the latest base image instead of the old official image. Then you for watching this video, if you felt this video is useful then please like and subscribe.